Hello everyone, Professor Prophet back with you, coming to you from Craps University. We hope you enjoyed our last series where we attempted to win $10,000 in one month or 31 episodes, and we accomplished that in 29 episodes using our step-down system. So we thought we would change the system up a little bit, try a different system, and just see how it works. Uh, we'll be learning together. We'll be tweaking this as we uh, go along, and we will uh, play Oh, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 sessions, uh, unless we can see that it's not working at all, then we'll give up and, and go to something else. But uh, we're going to go ahead and set a uh, $700 stop loss today. Uh, we're going to start with a $1,500 bankroll like we did with our other uh, uh, series. And that will be uh, $1,000 in the $100 black chips. And $400 and the green chips, $25 chips, and then $100 in the red $5 chips. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on this. Uh, what we're going to attempt to do is use a little bit of the uh, dark side to protect some of our bets. Uh, we're going to be betting uh, a little riskier than we did with the other system. Uh, the other system we used, a step-down system, we were able to lock in our profits after just a couple of, of uh, score hits. Uh, that will not be the case here. It's going to take a little more to get done. But we're going to uh, use our a lay bet to try to keep from uh, having too much money at risk at one time. So we're going to go ahead and get started, and uh, I'll explain this to you as we go along. So uh, we'll start off with a, a $25 pass line bet. We're going to uh, be playing a $25 table here. As you remember, our uh, set in the past has been the, uh, the 3V, and we're going to switch that up today, and we're going to throw uh, one of my old, oldies but a goodies that I started out with. Uh, it's the 6564, the 65 on the left-hand die, and the 64 on the right-hand die. And we will... Uh, be throwing from stick right one as a left-hander. If you're right-handed, which uh, most of you will be, uh, you'll be wanting to throw from stick left one. And as we've explained in the past, we like to get as close to that back wall as we can. And what we're looking for when we throw is the dice to hit and land softly and just kiss the wall and die near the wall and close together. Uh, when we're throwing, uh, I use a, a slight uh, back pendulum in my uh, throw pendulum swing uh, that's just how I feel comfortable a lot of the throwers uh, don't do that they'll just pick the dice up and throw them like that um, I have trouble getting a good rhythm doing that so uh, I prefer a little bit of a back swing it gives me a little bit better feel and uh, that's strictly uh, what your own taste is what you feel comfortable with but um, I use a three finger uh, on top grip with the thumb underneath and like I said, I kind of cock my wrist a little bit, get some backspin so the dice will die when they hit near the wall. And just a slight pendulum backswing and then a release. So let's go ahead and get started. Six, five, six, four. And as I said, we'll kind of explain the system as we go along here. $700 stop loss. And we'll uh, play for, oh, somewhere around 20 minutes and, and stop there and kind of see where we are. So, okay, here's the first roll of the day. Dice in hand. Rolls away, and that's the nine, so nine is going to be our number. Move the puck to the nine, and uh, first thing we do, we take maximum odds on the number, unless it's a four or ten. Um, on the nine, the uh, maximum odds is, is uh, four times, so we'll go with $100 behind the 25, which is a four times bet. And the odds we are using at this table is, is probably the most common that I see. It's not all tables, but um, you can bet uh, up to three times on the four and the ten, up to four times your initial bet on the five and nine, and up to five times your initial bet on the six and the eight. So we'll be using our maximum odds uh, behind the pass line. And uh, we'll also go ahead and place the six and the eight for one unit, which would be $30, paying it seven to six. And we'll move these back down here out of the way so the dice won't be hitting hitting them when we throw up against this back wall. 
So six five six four. And we're almost ready to go. One other thing, uh, almost forgot. However much we have uh, on the light side, and here we've got 125 and then 60 more, so $185. We'll try to match that and place a lay bet on the 10, and that pays at one to two. So uh, if we seven out, we would lose this, but we'd win 100 back here on the lay bet, and that keeps this uh, uh, risk down to a minimum. Now, once we uh, uh, get a score hit or two, we'll take down that lay bet once we don't need it. But right now we do need it, so we're going to use it and we're also going to put $5 or $10. Here, let's put $25, excuse me, on the hard 10. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this up here. And we'll just know, you just have to remember that this is for a hard 10. So the only number we can lose our lay bet on is a, a 4 6 or a 6 4. If we hit the uh, double fives, we'll still be okay. Okay, so here we go. Six five six four is the set. Stick right one. Here we go. All right, that's uh, twelve. All the dots we got. So we will leave that there. Six five six four. Right again. Throws away. All right, there's the easy six, and that'll be a $35 winner on that place bet. So we'll pay that off. And continue on. There's the six four. There's the six five. Be interesting to see how this compares to the other system. If this is another one we can add to our arsenal, if it is. Okay, there's the Yo 11. So that doesn't mean anything to us. And we seem to be throwing some uh, big numbers here to start off with the new set. Okay, nice throw, a uh, bad result for us as we sevened out there, but uh, the dice just kissed the wall and landed very close together. Uh, that's the kind of throw we're looking for, uh, not the result we're looking for, however. So we do lose everything down here, and that's $185. We lose our hard 10 bet, that goes down. So that's a little over $200 we lose, but we do win 100 on the uh, lay bet, Got to pay the big on that. And so that's the, uh, that's the first round. So buttons off, didn't hit, a, didn't hit our number, and that's something we have to do in this system. So let's try it again, $25 pass line bet. And 6564, and see if we can hit a few numbers here. Dice in hand, throws away, can't see one of those, what do we got? All right, there's the four six, that's the easy 10. So 10 is gonna be our number. Okay, now this is gonna, uh, this means we're gonna have to change a few things up. When we have the four of the 10, that's such a hard number to hit. I normally will not take the odds on that, uh, but I will go ahead and put a uh, come bet out whatever number is thrown, that come bet will move to that number, and then perhaps we'll take eyes on that if it's not the four or the 10. Now, obviously, since 10 is the number, we're not gonna put our lay bet there. Uh, we will put it over on the four uh, after we put our, our place bets down on the six and the eight. And we'll move those down here out of the way. Come bet is working. Pass line bet is working. And so right now we've got 50, we got a little over $100 out there. So we'll put a $100 lay bet on the uh, four and a $10, make it a $15 uh, on the hard way, on the four hard. And 
and that'll protect our uh, lay bed if we do hit a four. That means the only thing it'll beat us is a one three or a three one. And right now we're throwing big numbers, so I uh, feel pretty good that we won't see that. So 10's our number. We've got the come working. Six and eight are placed. So let's fire one out there and see what we got. Dice in hand. Okay. That one bounced all over the place, but uh, ended up getting a five. So the come moves down to the five. And we will take our maximum odds on that, which is four to one. So we'll put it behind there. And we're going to go ahead and uh, bump this up to $200 lay bet now. And we're going to bump up our hard ways to 25 to protect that. And get our dice set once again. And now we've got everything working we want working. So we're looking for a 5, a 6, an 8, or a 10 for score hits. Dice in hand. Throws away. Okay, there's the easy 10. So uh, we didn't have eyes on that, unfortunately. That'll still pay us $25 up front. And the button goes off, so everything out here is off now. Go back to the 6465. Six, and here's the come out row. Okay, there's another five. So we'll just leave that there. We've already got the five covered, so we're not going to take odds on it once again. But uh, five is the number. And don't we wish that was working? So six, four, six, five. Nice in hand. And here we go. Another nice throw. That's the easy eight. That'll be a $35 winner for us. Another score hit. So we'll put that in the rack. And there's our 6-4. There's our 6-5. And there's a hard 10, so nothing on the 10. But we continue to throw numbers with a lot of dots. All right, here we go. Dice are in hand. Nice easy throw. And there's a 3 one, 4 that's the only thing that could uh, hurt us, and that's exactly what we threw. So we lose uh, both our, our uh, lay bet and the hard four bet. So we'll put that back up. We're going to put it on the 10, however. That's where I'm more comfortable. And we'll put the $25 uh, hard 10. And see if we can do a little better. Not off to a good start with this system. Again, our stop loss is at $700, so uh, if things don't turn around pretty quick, we'll have to check and see uh, where we are as far as uh, loss, so just to be sure that, that we uh, don't, ex don't exceed that. Okay, so there's the five. That's our number. We had... Uh, $100 uh, my odds bet, so that pays 150 at 3 to 2. We had one up front there, so that's 25 and then the pass line, of course. And so we'll collect all that, and all this will come down. Now we hit our number, so we're going to turn that off. Everything's off. We're going to take down our lay bet and our hard ways, and get that out of the way. And 
And so um, we've got uh, $60 in place bits working. Those are off and the pass line bed of course is working. And dice are in hand. Here we go. See if we can keep it going. And there's another five, so we'll take that. And move the button to the five and four times odds, so we'll place a hundred dollar bet behind. And since we've uh, hit our number, we're not going to worry about the lay bet any longer. So we will uh, just keep this risk and hope we can hit some numbers here. We're going to go ahead and also place the nine while we're at it. Cover another number. And that way we have all the inside numbers covered. Here we go. Okay, another nice throw, bad result. But boy, that's just what we're looking for. So, um, once again, that didn't work out. And that's the difference between this system and the step-down system that we've used in the past. Uh, we're protected from those big losses like that most of the time. All right, so uh, we'll rinse and repeat. And if we don't have a winning session, uh, or winning uh, round this throw, we'll uh, count our money and kind of see where we are. It may be time to, to call it a day. So here's the come out roll. Dice are in hand. Throws away. And that's show 11, so that'll pay $25 on the pass line. That's like free money, folks. $25, boom. Probably throw a crap here down and give it right back, but you know, what are you gonna do? All right, there's the hard 10. So 10 is going to be our number. And again, we're not going to take odds on that because it's just so hard to hit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put place bets on the uh, 6 and the 8. And those will be working. And so that's 60, 85. So put $100 on. On the lay, lay the four, put 10 on the hard four, put that over there out of the way. And get our die set. Six, five, six, four is the set. Ten's the number. So uh, six, eight, or ten, will, any of those will be a nice little score hit for us. Need to avoid the four and the seven. There's a nine. So nine's gonna, uh, not going to help us any. So we sh what we should have done, and I forgot to do, so we're not going to do it at this point. Should have had a come bet out there, which would have moved to the nine, so we could take our odds. But um, uh, so that's my mistake. But, um, if you're at a casino and tell them I meant to pay, meant to bet that, um, they're probably not going to pay you. So we're going to go with that and just leave that alone and put a come bet out there this time. Okay, there's the nine again, so uh, there we go. So we would have had a big hit there, but this will move the come will move to the nine. That's four times odds, so we'll put $100 behind it. And throw again. Need a score hit. So now we're looking for a six, eight, nine, or a 10. There's a five. It's a pretty nice throw. Six, five, six, four. Let's see if we can get a score hit here. Nice in hand. And there's the seven out. Okay, so we lose our hard ways, lose all of this. Do win 50 on the uh, lay bet, and we'll have to pay uh, VIG on that.
Okay, let's take a quick count, see where we are. Said the stop loss is 700, so we need to have at least 800 to continue. So there's five. There's seven. Eight, nine. So we're a little over a thousand dollars. We count our red ones also. So uh, not where we want to be, but uh, we should be able to continue through another round here. Got our pass line bet down. Dice are in hand. Walk back here to our throwing station. And there's a nine, so a nine is going to be our number. And we'll take the maximum odds, which is four times on that nine. We'll place the six and the eight. And put a $200 lay bet on the 10. $25 on the hard 10. And once again, that protects us from the uh, double fives if we hit that on the 10. So the 6, 4, and uh, 4, 6 are the only ones that can hurt us on our lay bet. So just a little, uh, little extra insurance policy there, if you will. All right, dice in hand. Here we go. There's a three, so nobody hurt there. AC Ducey. And we'll set them up again. And roll them one more time. Okay, there's the easy six. That's a $35 payout. are in hand and set. Here we go. All right, another easy six, five, one. So that's another $35 hit. And we're trying to hit that, uh, hit that nine. If we can hit that one, we'll take that lay bet down. Nice in hand. Oh, there's the 10. Hate when that happens. Okay, we lose all of that. So we're just going to repopulate it. And that green one, of course, represents the hard 10, the double fives. This will be our last, uh, our last round here, win or lose. We have to, looks like we may be licking our wounds in this first session. Okay, there's the hard six. That's another $35 hit. There's our six four and our six five. There's our nine we're looking for. So that'll pay 150 uh, on our odds bet and even money on the pass line bet. So that's a nice score hit for us. And we'll rack that up. We'll take down our lay bet since we got a score hit. Button goes off, uh, which means our place bets are not working. You may want yours working. And that may be something that I will change as we go along in this, uh, in this series. Come out roll is seven. So we saved uh, $60 by not having our place bets working. And that's a frontline winner there. And there's our six four, there's our six five. And let's see if we can get some numbers here and catch up on some of our losses. Okay, there's the 
246. So we'll take that down to place put down. It's five to one odds, so we'll put 125 behind on the six. And let's go ahead and pick up the nine as a uh, place bet. And I think we are ready to go. Six, five, six, four. Looking for some inside numbers here. Uh, six, eight, and nine. Okay, here's your 11. So the horn number there doesn't mean anything. Try it again. It was a nice throw though. I like the uh, Minimum on that, it was just about right. A good speed. Of course, that one bounced around a little more. But that's a score hit. That's another nine, so that's a thirty-five dollar hit. So that will help make up our deficit a little bit. Let's go back and try it again. Nice in hand. 11 so nobody helped nobody hurt there one more time here's our nine once again one of those one of those dice rolled a little more than we wanted it to but uh, fortunately it was a score hit Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, right? Let's see if we can continue on and get a six here. Close, seven. Okay, so that's going to wipe us out there. And let's go ahead and put that in the casino coffers. Let's take a count and see how bad this was. Okay, there's 500 in the black. Of course, 1500 was our buy in. Okay, that's another 375. So that's another 400. So that's $900. 25, 50, 75, 85, 90, 993 dollars. So let's give the 18 to the dealers as a tip because we worked them. Show them we appreciate them even in the bad times. Okay, so there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 975 dollars. We've had a $1,500 buy in. So uh, that's a $525 loss in our first session trying this new system. So not the way we wanted to go, but um, you know sometimes you just have bad days and perhaps this is one of them or perhaps the system just doesn't work. But anyway, we will find out and we'll continue on with our second session. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you did, we ask you to hit that thumbs up button and also uh, consider subscribing to the channel and uh, as always, please leave a comment if you have any insights or any questions. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. So once again, this is Professor Prophet coming to you from Crafts University. If you're out rolling those bones this week in any of the casinos, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. And may all your rolls be winners. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.